Okay, so the pet spotlight for today will be on a really nice tier 1 pet, the Frost Wolf Ghost Pup. Frost Wolf Ghost Pup is attainable pretty easily through archaeology. You don't even need to have it maxed out, you just need to do Draenor Clan's archaeology, or you can just buy it off the auction house since it's gotten pretty easily. It doesn't cost, uh, they usually go for about 1000 to 5000 so that's not that much, or it could be a lot considering what your income is. I'd suggest just grabbing it off the auction house, but you can get it pretty early through archaeology by just doing Draenor Clan stuff. Anyways, with how to get it out of the way, let's talk about why this pet's so great. Uh, I have him right here on a couple of my teams. Actually, this is every single team that I have him in. I really love uh, Rematch's ability to sort by which team they're in. So he's in 10 teams, that's all 10 of them. He's really good in pretty much any team. Like, the only teams he's bad in are ones that use Darkness because he's a really good healer. Uh, Frostwolf Ghost Pup is the best AoE healer in the game, so he's really good against AoE teams. He's an undead pet, which means he's got the overpowered undead racial, where he's immune for a turn once he dies. His stats are really nice. 1400 attack is baseline for any PvP pet, which means he's not too squishy and he's not tanky at all. Uh, his Power Power type allows him to heal for a lot, which makes him really great. He hits really hard with the hardest hitting undead move in the game, Ghostly Bite. And he even has a critter type special attack, I mean basic attack. Since he's going to be going against a lot of undead pets in, AO in PvP, because you run against a lot of undead pets in PvP, and usually the ones that do AoE the most are undead, which he counters with Haunting Song. He's like a really good counter to the meta, since the meta uh, revolves around lots of AoE. He can counter the AoE directly with Haunting Song, and he can destroy undead pets with his critter type Scratch. Since he hits hard, he'll take him out pretty easily, and he also just hits really damn hard against everything else. He doesn't really have a bad matchup besides Darkness teams who just completely shut him down, or if you don't start off with him. Like if you have one of your uh, pets already dead in the back row, Haunting Song is going to heal for that one less, so you either want to start him out against AoE teams and he'll be able just to tear him apart. Now then, uh, that's pretty much it. I, th pr I think I just went over everything. He's good against the meta. He's also, there's some tricks you can do with him. Usually you take the same moves every time. You can use Sneak Attack if you do want to run Darkness, but then I would suggest not taking Haunting Song but Refuge isn't really that great either. It blocks one attack and also blocks an attack from your critter allies. So if you have nothing but critters on your team that could be nice for blocking two attacks but it only lasts six turns so you'd have to switch into them pretty early. And Frolic is a better move on a faster pet since you could take advantage of using it first around getting an extra turn out of it. And Ghostly Bice is a really good finisher or a, a ability to use during your turn of immunity. So I really wouldn't suggest taking Frolic over Ghostly Bite. I also wouldn't suggest taking Sneak Attack over Scratch. Even though they both are critter damage, Scratch will hit harder, more baseline. You really don't want to use them in a Darkness team. Although you can, and he wouldn't do half bad. And some Darkness teams do use uh, critters. Since right here, actually I do have them in a Darkness team. Even in a Darkness team, I still use Scratch. <laughs> <laughs> just because it's better. I don't know why the- oh, I used Refuge because they're gonna have Darkness out, which completely just negates Haunting Song. And I still just have Ghostly Bite out. Flurry's really good at taking out decoys, that's why I'm using that on my rat. And then Widget Departed, another nice pet, not as good as Frostwolf Ghost Pup. He's also really good in the Ghostly Clone Dance team. This is a team is featured as one of my best teams in my best teams playlist because it wins a lot. This team right here takes advantage of Arcane Storm because with Arcane Storm out you cannot be stunned or rooted and one of the drawbacks to Ghostly Bite is that it stuns you for a round but not if Arcane Storm is out. And the Royal Peacock also has Rain Dance which means you can use uh, the Blighthawk to send out a Cyclone and use his own Ghostly Bite. This, this team hits really hard and does a lot of AoE damage. It's just really good. So he's, he's really just good in any team really. You can just throw them in to like, well, I want to try out two lesser pets, so why don't I just round it off with a really good pet that's good against pretty much all teams in the meta. So that's what I use them mainly for.